What is going on guys? Welcome to your 18th chemistry tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about yet another type of radiation and that is called beta emission. Now let me go ahead and warn you guys first. If you guys were not confused yet by all this chemistry mumbo jumbo then get prepared to be because sometimes some really weird stuff happens inside the nucleus of an atom and that stuff is what I'm going to be talking about in these upcoming tutorials. So beta emission is basically the process of making these things called beta particles. So let's go ahead and understand what the heck a beta particle is first. An electron emitted from the nucleus. Okay, I think I misread that. Let me read that again. An electron emitted from the nucleus? I think I did a typo or something because Bucky, there are no electrons in the nucleus, right? Well, you are correct most of the time. So let me go ahead and show you an example of when this would occur, and then I'll talk you guys through it. So say you have something like 14, 6 carbon. It can undergo some process that I'm going to be talking about later, which can turn it into a 14, 7 nitrogen and also an electron, and we write electrons like that. So you're saying, okay, you're kind of scratching your head right now. How can you turn 14, 6 carbon? carbon into a 14-7. Oh, I, I see what you're doing. You're adding a proton. Well, that doesn't make sense because the mass number is staying the same. Plus, you have this electron that came from somewhere. What the heck is going on? Well, let me go ahead and tell you guys this. Sometimes in the nucleus of an atom, a neutron, you know, I better write it down, a neutron can get converted into a proton with a positive charge and an electron with a negative charge. So this re just remember that that sometimes in the nucleus you can turn a neutron and whenever a neutron decays or breaks apart it becomes a proton and an electron. Now first that electron is what we refer to as a beta particle. It's the electron that gets emitted whenever this happens. Now the element that this happens to it holds on to that proton. It keeps it in the nucleus. So basically, you're saying, okay, I kind of am seeing this now. So since a neutron and a proton weigh the same amount or they have the same exact mass, your mass number isn't going to change. So that's why 14 on this side and 14 on that side. However, your atomic number does change because, remember, the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus. So that goes from 6 to 7 because you converted a neutron to a proton. Make sense? Okay, fair enough. So you're saying, okay, does this happen often or like when does this happen in what kinds of isotopes? Well, this happens in isotopes with a high amount of neutrons compared to protons. And the reason behind this is, remember I talked about in the last tutorial, basically I said that in the nucleus of atom, atoms always want an even number of protons is neutrons and therefore it makes it stable so in some isotopes you have a high amount of neutrons and a low amount of protons so this process of getting rid of a neutron and adding a proton it just kinda helps even the ratio so again to recap one last time in order to make a beta particle or beta emission is pretty much the process of inside the nucleus you take a neutron and turn it into a proton and an electron. Did I say neutron? I meant neutron. You take a neutron and turn it into a proton and an electron. The element holds on to that proton and it sheds the electron from the nucleus. So that electron is called a beta particle and this happens in isotopes with a high number of neutrons and a low number of protons because it helps even out that ratio and it helps stabilize the atom. So now that you understand what beta particles are and beta emissions, hopefully we're going to move on to something called gamma emissions in the next tutorial. So make sure you watch this tutorial and I know this is really weird and confusing and you guys probably didn't know before that a neutron can turn into a proton and an electron but if you think this is confusing wait to uh, I talk to you guys about the different types of radiation then you're then you're really gonna be baffled but anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, don't forget to check out my next tutorial and please add me on Google Plus